What's there? A dinosaur? Welcome to the Jurassic World. Let's bring some of the most dangerous creatures ruled our planet some 66 million years ago. And the humans and dinosaurs share one earth together. So how we can bring them back? Could we live together with these giant creatures? I could go wrong. Well, just imagine if dinosaur came back to life. In the movies of Jurassic Park, we watched the scientists find DNA from a dinosaur blood preserved inside of a fossil mosquito. Then they clone a whole theme park worth of prehistoric creatures. And of course, all hell breaks loose. Well, what you might not know is that the story was inspired by real-life events. In 1982, scientists discovered a 40 million years old fly mummified in an amber. And that's where non-fiction drama ends and authors' science fiction begin. But it's not that only discovery that has raised the question of whether you could bring back dinosaurs from extinction. Components of dinosaur blood were discovered in a fossilized mosquito, but there was not any other dinosaur DNA that we could use for cloning. DNA is a vulnerable thing. It could be deteriorated by sunlight and water. So far, the oldest DNA discovered is one million years old. So, if you want to clone dinosaur, you would need to find TNA at least 66 times older than that. Instead of waiting on the miraculous discovery of dinosaur DNA, let's try something different. Like genetically reverse engineering dinosaur. You could take an animal that's alive today and work backward. So, going back to 66 million years of evolution wouldn't be just a normal walk. Genetically engineering a chicken to have its or a long tail would not exactly make it a dinosaur. But of course, life finds a way. Now, if your dinosaur creation somehow escaped your maximum security lab and begin living in the world, you should be ready for trouble. With over 700 different dinosaur species discovered worldwide, you would have to find out which one of them would be the safest to share the planet with and which one should pose a serious threat. And you have to figure out the hard way. They would breed on their own. They would be hunted for meat. Maybe even kept as a pet and then there would be a T-Rex on the prowl for you. Nah, not especially for you, but of course, for all of us. People would spend less time outdoors out of the fear of attacks. Jobs requiring travel would become infinitely more dangerous. Do you want to be driving an 18-wheeler with one of these things running across the highway? Travel would be much more expensive because of an extra security precautions. Delays and cancellation would be common and food supply chains would be disrupted and cattle and other livestock would be prime targets for predatory dinosaurs. These creatures never had mammals to snack on in the past. Branches and foam would be like a buffer for them. Massive herbivores like sauropods would struggle to meet their dietary needs. The plants that currently exist wouldn't be the same as those millions of years ago. Sauropods wouldn't have teeth, jaws, or digestive system adapted to eating the grass that are common today. Other animals and living things would need to adapt to the new predators on the block. Dinosaur would be the ultimate invasive species and their presence could cause extinction events for some of today's species. It would not be a bed of roses for the dinosaurs either. 
unless they were engineered to be adapted to our modern day global environment and climate, they would struggle too. During the Cretaceous period, the atmosphere had 35% oxygen, 14% more than today's. For a dinosaur, it would be feel like they were suddenly living at the Mount Everest space camp. If you could bring dinosaur back, you would be facing a major ethical dilemma. Mother Nature wiped them out. Reintroducing them to be pure entertainment would be a hard case to win against scientists pushing for further conservation efforts. Especially if you are planning to open a very own Jurassic Park, lots of people would want to, to enjoy the dinosaurs in a zoo-like settings. You could stand to make a lot of money, so you would likely to have more luck convincing people if you stick to research purpose. You could do it for further cloning technology or verify findings and theories based on fossilized remains. But uh, as we know, the dinosaurs were not the only who ruled the earth. But before the dinosaurs, another giant creatures ruling our planet. Well, for that video, you can check out this video. And for more such amazing videos, keep watching. Just imagine.